Hey there, welcome back to Andrew Channel International, I'm an Andrew and today we are going to play Arts of Iron of War with Italy. So, in the last episode, as you can see, the Operation Barbarossa started and Germany <coughs> finally declared war on uh, the Soviet Union. And this is going to fix a lot of issues. So in this episode, I would really like to end the war, so finish the war start the negotiations with uh, uh, the Soviet Union to get uh, I would like to get all this territory maybe until Stalingrad if I could uh, take a part of uh, Ukraine would be also cool and then try to puppet all the rest of course the German Reich will try to get us a lot of uh, territory I will I will see how we can steal it um, for the time being what we are doing I could also use more troops to close the war quicker and I was considering doing that. I see that, yeah, I, I see that in the last moment, in the last uh, episode, I didn't clean properly everything, but uh, that's not a big deal. Uh, what I'm going to try, what I'm trying to do now, I have to take Stalingrad. That's the that's the, the first thing that I have to do. All the rest can wait. Uh, if I get Stalingrad, then I will have a lot of victory points, and I'm happy. Let's have a look um, at the same time. We have some military factories that we can use. For sure, uh, the improved tanks are very good. I look, I see that I don't have aluminium. And it, okay. Yeah, that, that, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Why am I in this uh, terrible situation and I need to have concentrated industry for... Uh, that's who, I think I won't manage either. I got really distracted by a lot of stuff. So the limited conscriptions at a uh, conscription at the moment is fine, but I'm going back to the export focus because what I didn't realize. Oh yeah, that sounds much better. Thank you. What I didn't realize is that I can't uh, build the weapons that I need otherwise. And it makes little sense to have so many factories and support equipment if then. As you can see, I can't use it. Alright. Mm. Let me check also the airplanes. We have 240 tactical bombers that I didn't deploy yet. 340 fighters. What about the cast? Only 9. I think we're not producing cast, that's the problem. Let me create a new version of uh, of uh, closer support. Let's start with the cast. Uh, we take the heavy bomb blocks, and then we get to the bomb blocks, and then we get again to the small bomb bay. All right, now our agility is it's not the best in the world. Let's upgrade everything so. The thrust is going to be good. The production cost of the BA-88 Lynch is very high, 27, but it's a, it's a very strong... This is a very strong aircraft. I could also put some special modules that could give me more range, less defense and more weight. Let's do it. Let's do it. And... Uh... Okay, so... Mm. Minus to defense plus range 50, minus 10 range plus defense. Th those are compensated quite fine, I would say. I'm gonna do this. P88 Lynch with Fiat. We move them here on top, it doesn't really matter. Uh, wow! Okay, hey, already 15 factories that I was not using. Okay, now we use them and we start building the cask. Um, okay, I could use now some... Let's unpause because it makes no sense to keep it paused. I could use some aircraft to support my attack. Actually, in Zaporizia, I could really put the tactical. Why not? All right. And we use it this way, air superiority and closer support. 
that should be enough to uh, allow me to reach uh, the stunning god. Now if I click, what is this? Sweden requests trade of foodstuff for bulb bearings. Fighter production, bomber production, light tank production. Okay, we get a lot of discounts. And we get, uh, Sweden gets stability and manpower, but uh, our consumer good factor is factor of man, uh, increases by 5%. I, I like this. Let's do this. I wanted to check here. Actually, we don't, we don't have any modifier. Ah! Because we are going here south. So let me split. Uh, some are going up, some are going down. Okay, now uh, the enemy air superiority is winning. Pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's move now to the concentrated industry. We are absolutely losing our mission. What a disgrace. Alright, this is it is. It is as it is, guys. It's, I mean. Good. Okay. My idea to justify. Oh! Turkey is guaranteed by the Germany. That could be a great way to um, declare war in Germany. So, claim Turkey and then declare war. So, they have to defend it and then we crush Turkey and we attack uh, the Germans. But I think that it, there must be also some easier way we can justify on them directly. In 10 days, by the way, okay. I think it's easier. But Turkey, uh, I mean, sooner or later, will be part of my mighty employer, of course. Okay. We don't... Currently, we're not um, drafting any... Any soldiers. Okay, let's discuss this because maybe I could use some reserves or just regular infantry. Now that I look at this, actually the reserves are almost better than the regular one. Now I don't want to say something wrong or bad, but so it's um let's build armies. Well, let's build infantry, food infantry, food, food infantry that we can use to defend our borders and this kind of stuff. I mean, we are full of manpower, we're full of uh, uh, infantry equipment, artillery. We should use it. And we got Stalingrad, by the way. No one told us anything, but we got it. Okay, I, I think that there should be a kind of an event, right? Someone that tells us, uh, oh, you're so good, you, you got Stalingrad, wow, we are so proud of you. Nothing. Nothing, wow. So disappointed. How long? Okay. I, I would... I don't know. We'll try to get this area then. But probably I need to use... What is this? Sotto, sotto, sotto. Let me, let's, let's use this guy here. You go here, and you do this. And we have been embargoed by Argentina. Ah, okay. I'm very sad because I really like Argentina. And then we cry for you tonight. Alright. So, the, the railways are ready to Stalingrad, so now we can hold the line and we can take the territory with all the oil and, uh, and nice stuff. So, at the same time, I, I saw that the construction now is focusing on the infrastructures in Languedoc, in France. Yes, everything is good. As soon as this is done, I will have to start getting ready. It has been very stupid, by the way, to get rid of uh, all the Magino line. Because, I mean, yes, uh, that's not the main focus for us, but I should have just kept it where it was. Because um, what I want to do... I want to be ready in case they declare war against Germany later. I want to be ready to, to hold. 
they will uh, they will try to push you know uh, and and if we have uh, the force you know level four or five we we drive them crazy uh, anyways is Sodu in position this is not Sodu this is not Sodu this is Sodu yes he is uh, no actually man what the heck well just move just move as fast as you can. But I can tell you. And by the way, if I have here, yeah, you go here. We move some cannon ferroviario in Russia. Wondering where where do I want to go? Italian Ridden Tison. Let's get there. Pronto, and now both uh, uh, Visconti Prask and Soddu will push and try to get more territory here in the south, but without losing to uh, too much manpower. Improve medium tanks, this is also good. Uh, we have a lot of them now. I think we can improve again the Shellar division. What I'm going to do now, I completely... No, 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 not like this. Uh, I completely remove the light tanks, which is, uh, yeah, I don't need them. I'm going to put the support artillery and I'm going to put the logistics. Um, what else? I need to have the light flame tank company. I want to have this. Uh, I'm going to create now a template. I need an advanced light tank. I need a Flammenwerfer. Flame support company. And they need to be uh, to be fast. They need to be fast, otherwise my all uh, units will uh, slow down. That's it. The light flame tank 3, uh, which I call always like a Memes Catolette. Calde, which means hot box. Hot little boxes. Um, reliability, look at this. The Scatolette Calde, they will be produced by Fiat. Um, and I will attach them to almost all my companies. Uh, those are little tanks with uh, flamethrowers, and they will increase the stats of my uh, troops. And what is this? So, all those guys that are currently, let's say, I'm going to say, uh, colonial or part of our empire, uh, they will, they have to move. They have to move away. They have to go to Europe. And here we create another encirclement. It's very important. Oh, look at this. What a wonderful world. This looks very good. Support weapons. Wonderful. Let me get the best... Uh, the Oh, I can already start doing the Fiat 7 to 7. Uh, but by the way, did I study the computing machine? No, not really. And I actually was not even studying the nuclear reactor. It should start in... Yeah, whatever. It should have started earlier, but also here... Uh, Okay, we are almost close to the Soviet capitulation, and we have uh, the fifty-five percent of the of the, the victory points, while the Germans uh, are marching into the mud, and they are freezing their asses, and that's pretty good for us.
peer research program. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's telepathy or, or something, but I was thinking exactly the same. I need to have many reserves of oil. So I'm going to build up a stockpile now that I can. Because then later if I lose or if I need to use the, the fleet altogether, oh man, I will need a lot of oil. So I need to build up my strategic reserves. And I think that now the the boards can be soon ready. Okay, let's take Baku, let's go to Astrakhan. Right. Available place in reserve. Okay, here I have too much, but it doesn't matter. I really want to um, want to train our air forces. They need to do some experience, right? It seems that uh, for some reason the Russian troops are done. They don't receive any logistics, any supply anymore. They're just done. The Soviet Union is so close to collapse, uh, to the colla full collapse. The German Reich, uh, the German Empire has the 39% of of victory. Let's let, let's improve our air forces. Come on. And then I need to think how I want to expand and protect myself. I think I will try to get to Africa, of course. Uh, After what I'm saying, I'm just uh, I'm just a little bit tired. Uh, I I want to have all the control of this area here. I'm thinking about the Mediterranean, so I need to have control of North Africa, I need Turkey, but I need also this area here. Okay, I, I have the Marine Ostrom in mind. All right, so we have 24 divisions which we are going to add here. We are going to assign um, Otelera, Panzer Leader Factor, this engineer. And now, <clears throat> I believe that near we ask uh, them to start the training. Um, and I think we start the training the next batch. Yeah, perfect. That's perfect. Pronto, signore. Formazione. really good all right i think that we forgot someone though let's move our boys here fast and let's wait for the capitulation so three civilian factories wow no that cannot be possible did we finish completely no that cannot be possible let's start the anti-air We build here and there some anti-air um, structures. Now it's a little bit buggy, but I, I I'm one hundred percent sure that okay, perfect. I 
think that's it. I think that this is it. I have a question. Why is Sodo moving? I didn't give any order, they're just advancing uh, automatically, I think, because of the aggressively executed battle plan, maybe. Or maybe I'm wrong and I'm not realizing something. Okay, let me read this. Our experience and building slot and uh, air equipment experience costs minus 50%, but everything is more expensive. Or air equipment uh, experience costs more. Now let's go on specialization. Okay. And now I check how much stuff I have. I don't have a lot of trucks. I have a lot of light tank on the other side, but not a lot of tracks, uh, which I think I'm going to increase. Yeah, I definitely do it. And another thing I want to do, let's keep moving here. Take control of Germany. Oh, oh. Someone has to do an operation and rescue a rescue uh, a prisoner, otherwise she will be he will be killed. No, she will be killed. She's a she. Alright, good. I think that here I, I made another mistake. Because I didn't execute properly. Here we go. Uh, the Soviet Union here might try to regain Baku, but we have to push them back. it's only one it's only this guy poor <laughs> it was only this guy very good now they go back all right i i think that now we stop everything we hold we hold because the more we hold now the easiest is that the Germans lose uh, manpower by attrition. And I lost completely the overview here, but, but fine. I'm going to beat a little bit more ports. Oh, we rebuild the machine. <laughs> This is ironic. Okay, you know what is also ironic? The fact that the Soviet Union capitulated. So the first thing that I want, I select, I take all Portugal. This was my war goal. And uh, the second thing that I go and I do, I take the Soviet Union. And I need to be very careful here and think about what I need, what I can protect. So I would... Uh, um, try somehow to have an advantage so you can cut Germany out of here and then go for uh, for um, Ukraine okay that's the first part and then we go down here and we take also this area let's uh, submit there are a lot of stuff that is now uh, contended. We do not forfeit. We say now this is our stuff. We keep going down. All right, good. Those are very good resources. Uh, and for the rest, uh, we take a puppet Soviet Union. I would start from uh, uh, Moscow. If those guys are not yet there. I am so bad. Alright. 
uh, just in time, let's say. I think the Germans can expand in this area, but they want to have... Uh, Let me see if it works. Now they, uh, of course, they are. They want much more stuff. So, what I'm gonna do? Select all. Oh come on! All support you got. They can forget it. Then I go to the most expensive things. That, that's Moscow. Yeah. All the all the Portuguese colony, of course, I want them. What I could avoid, maybe. Well. Okay, I avoid those. Let's demand this. Um, so if we're paid this area. They keep asking uh, the rest. Perfect. No, actually, this is not... Uh, yeah, I, I, I just gave up this area, you know. And they try to go east now. Why? Because the, if, if Germany can expand, they can expand this area here. Uh, and in um, uh, Siberia, which is useless. I know that this is going to be a huge border gore, but that's just for now. Actually, this looks pretty cool. I mean, this looks pretty cool. It's missing. Germany has, has to take also control of Poland. They can take Estonia and other uh, and all this stuff around Finland. We keep demanding all the rest, but it's expensive. Done. And I, I really don't care about the fleet. What else do we have? We can puppet stuff with our points. Actually, I could start now. Wow, it's really expensive. Not really sure if I want to do it. Can I pop it in Poland? Not really. Let me see if I can pop in Mongolia. Not really. Okay. I don't care. I think, I think that this is fine. Take the fleet with Turco, so all the screening uh, ships of Portugal, and that should be it. I don't care about the rest. Okay, guys, we end here the episode. We have the Reichskommissariat Russia, which is our puppet. The Reichskommissariat Russia is now led by Anatoly Sanfiro. <clears throat> The German Reich, as you can see, uh, they didn't manage to get Moscow, didn't manage to get Stalingrad. They got Leningrad, and they expand all of the Baltic, and then they go up. 
Now, our goal will be to stop them, uh, encircle them, and prepare a big uh, surprise that will happen quite soon. But for now, I thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed. Please consider leaving a comment because it's helping a lot. The algorithm is helping me, so becoming a little, a little bit more popular since on this channel I'm not so say uh popular I, I don't have a lot of views or or subscribers so if you enjoy please help me support me doing this uh, um a little bit of, of advertisement it's for free so it doesn't cost a thing and i'm pretty forever grateful thank you so much i wish you a great day and we see each other next time